Hey soldiers, I'm gonna try to get this out pretty quick um, because there's a new terminated control system and I just want to make a quick video about how uh, you can solo it. Uh, this is uh, level 4. Um, I just choose cluster bomb, flamethrower, rover, and the mortar. The mortar didn't end up doing that much work, but that's fine. Yeah, so this is how uh, I did the mission. Uh, just some quick tips and I'll walk through how you do most of the objectives and stuff, the subject, sub objectives, and whatever. The first objective is this um, activating the silo. It's really easy. Just click the button, um, and then that should be it. And then you start have to start powering each of these three large battery silos spread across the map. Uh, basically, they're the same thing every time. Let me skip ahead to where I actually get to one. Yeah, so there might be a few little bugs on the site, uh, I never worry about them. And then you just click this big button and it starts the silo off and then you gotta protect it for, um, I'd estimate like two minutes while it's charging up. Uh, what I like to do, it always spawns in at least one or two bug breaches. So I have the cluster bombs and I toss them into wherever the bugs are breaching. Um, and it should take out a large chunk of the small enemies, making it easier for you to deal with them. Uh, also, the rover and the flamethrower, I think, are really good for this mission because uh, your own stratagems and your own weapons damage the uh, battery silo tower. So you can't damage it yourself, so you have to take weapons that will shoot around it. Um, your primary usually, most stratagems usually, will damage it, so you can't throw anything uh, offensive right by it. You have to do it while they spawn or while they're far away. The only exception though, I noticed, is the flamethrower. The flamethrower, it does direct damage when you fire the actual spit of the fire at the battery packs, but the ground fire doesn't damage it. So as long as you're aiming uh, tangential, I guess, to the circumference of the battery silo, you shouldn't be damaging it that much. You should be absolutely farming the aliens. That's an easy way to get rid of them. And then that one's the first one done. It's easy. Uh, heading off to the second one, it's basically the same thing, so I'll skip most of it. Again, the mortar it gets like a few kills in, but then it ends up killing you more than killing the bugs. And it gets, uh, busted up pretty quickly. You start again, and now the question of like, what happens when the when the silo uh, gets too damaged? Is it a failed mission? No, it is not. You just gotta restart again. So yeah, you see here, um, it's in critical uns it's critically unstable. Um, all the bugs are hammering away at it, and I think it just. Uh, sustains too much damage and then you have to restart over again from zero. But the fortunate thing is that you can just go back to the button and then press it again. I definitely didn't die here. Yeah. Anyways, you can just go back, press the button again, it will reset it for you, and then you just start it all over again. Uh, I have a bunch of cluster bombs this time, so... I'm able to take out a lot of the chaff without damaging the battery silo. Yeah, make sure you guys throw any stratagems uh, away from away from the silos. And then you just gotta protect it there for like two minutes. This one went fairly smooth. The next one, same exact thing. Uh, I'll skip ahead. I think it matters more the current damage that's being done rather than the aggregated damage. So as long as you stop them from attacking, even if there's like one little guy constantly picking at the silo over and over, it won't actually kill it. It'll just keep it in unstable mode, but it's not gonna ruin your mission that silo keep going Yeah, you can 
see the also the flamethrower torches them pretty effectively um, nothing much they can do and another great thing is that they just stand there and take it a lot of the times because they're too busy damaging the silo and the silo isn't gonna like implode in one second it, it takes a little bit of time for them to damage it at all and as long as the current damage isn't too much then uh, the silo will survive Um, that's pretty easy. And last thing, um, on your map, it'll say to go to the uh, TCS tower, the main tower. Uh, it's a lie. Don't trust it at all. Uh, where you're actually supposed to go is go to the extraction terminal, uh, fulfill the terminal, and then it should activate everything. Yep, and then just do the terminal. It's actually really cool how these things work. Um, they activate all the battery silos, they connect up to the main tower, and then they start um, releasing their permanent side. Powder, spray, gas, I don't know. But if it gets rid of the bugs, then I'm all for it. Who cares if we have to breathe in a little bit of terminus side? All for Super Earth. Anyways, that's it. Um, yeah, quick video. Hopefully I should get this edited within like a couple hours, within like an hour of the, the release of this new TCS mission. Alright, have fun Helldivers, we're taking back our worlds. See ya.